Hey everybody, this is Joshua from Tiny House Basics. Uh, we're here on another tiny house shell tour. This is our 34 foot gooseneck tiny house shell. Let's uh, go take a peek and I'll show you around. All right, so starting off, uh, we got the 26 foot lower deck, eight foot upper deck on the gooseneck hitch. There's a 50 inch rise to that upper deck. This is a 21,000 pound triple axle tiny house basics trailer. We built this custom for our customer. We have the steel flashing underneath it, four inch drop axles. So we have a 22 inch high deck height. So they get more height in the gooseneck hitch and more height up in the lofts if they choose lofts. So uh, we got the exterior in T111 exterior siding. This is our base siding that we include on all of our tiny house shells. We also include standing seam metal roofing. Uh, this is in black. And then we got the paint color on this is Sherwin-Williams Dignity Blue, and we got an ultra pure white trim. Uh, the customer added uh, six foot uh, wide French doors. We got 12 windows total on this uh, shell. Uh, four windows are included. And then the customer added the eight additional windows. So going around to the front, you can see the, the included length on all of our Gooseneck Tiny House Basics trailers is eight feet. So this is uh, the standard deck, <laughs> I'm sorry, standard length deck. Uh, we can't even do 10 foot as well, um, but you can see the hitch is right at that front. So you're really maxing out the interior space on your tiny house. So we got a 212 pitch shed roof shedding away from the front door. So in heavy rainstorms, you won't have to worry about getting soaking wet while you're uh, making your way unlocking the door. Here you can see, uh, since we are underneath the, the gooseneck, you can see this is what the steel flashing looks like. It is welded and painted to match the trailer. So we didn't do any electrical or plumbing on this tiny house as the customer is gonna finish it out themselves, but we did add some off-grid water tanks. So we have two 48 gallon freshwater tanks. Uh, there's the city inlet right there. And then in the rear, we have a 48 gallon waste tank. So you can see there's the outlet for the waste tank. Uh, so we got those all plumbed up. We have nice long branches so the customer can tie into them. And then the customer will finish off the electrical and plumbing themselves. So going around to the back, you can see we have this little storage shed. Um, so it's an interior section and then an exterior section. So you can see, you can open that up. So they can store propane tanks or tools or other uh, utilities in here. And then the customer is planning on having a um, ventless, I'm sorry, not a ventless, a um, tankless uh, water heater right there. So that's kind of why we offset the storage tank so they can put the water heater right there. So let's go take a look on the inside. No steps yet, so we'll just have to hop on in. All right, so you can see underneath the French doors, uh, we have the header that runs across. That's to support the load from the roof. This is good building practices to treat the fenders just like a window opening or a door opening. You have the header that runs across it just like we do right there. So when this customer finishes out, they're gonna have a little bedroom, I'm sorry, a little bathroom right here. They're gonna have uh, the, their daughter's bedroom right here. We have this interior storage, which is gonna be a catio. So there's gonna be a litter box, shelves and other playthings for the cat. And then we're gonna have the living room go out to here. We're gonna have the kitchen start. And then there's the fill tank for the uh, freshwater tanks. So both 48 gallons are branched off to that. And so you can hook up the city water or be fully off grid with this system, how we set it up. So those will be hidden in the kitchen cabinets. Uh, we will have uh, the customer is gonna add uh, a master bathroom. So there's gonna be two bathrooms in this tiny house. So you're gonna have a bathroom right here, washer, dryer, then you're gonna have steps that go up to the master loft. So it's a 50 inch rise to this uh, deck right here. And then you have an eight by eight master bedroom right here for the parents. So we're really excited for our customers to take this over, finish it out and make it their own. So let's hop back outside. So this tiny house, like all of our tiny houses is custom designed with our clients. Uh, we, it looks the way it is because we designed it around the customer's needs and layout. And we work on custom elevations and floor plans to get it just how they want it. So that's a quick little tour. Uh, we also have a video tour of this trailer 
that you see here before we built the tiny house. It's on our YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoy this tour. Uh, you can go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com, request a quote for a tiny house trailer to build your own tiny house. Or if you need some help, we can build you a tiny house shell just like this below. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.